I, we don't have to convince so many people in all these various primaries. All we have to convince is 1,144 of the 2,300 whatever delegates that are actually going to be at the convention, convention that Ron Paul, Paul is the best choice. choice. And that's part of what we're doing with Veterans for Ron Paul. That's our small part of it. But really, if you want to do something and they still want to support Ron Paul and they want to hold out that possibility that Ron Paul is president, here's how you do it. You go and lobby the delegates and you convince them that Rule 38 applies and that they should vote for Ron Paul. It's really simple as that. We know who the delegates are in a lot of these states, right? The names are public, they were processed. We can lobby them individually and say, hey, guess what? You're bound to vote for Romney according to state party rules, but according to national party rules, you're allowed to vote your conscience as per Rule 38, as Ben Swan of WXIX laid out in his recent reality checks. Way down at the end of the RNC rules is rule number 38. That rule consists of only one sentence. No delegate or alternate delegate shall be bound by any attempt of any state or congressional district to impose the unit rule. So what is the unit rule? Well, that rule requires that all delegates from one state or congressional district are required or bound to vote as a unit. So what you need to know? If Rule 38 is applied, not only does Mitt Romney not currently have enough delegates to secure the nomination, which he doesn't at this point, but he and Rick Santora may have actually both lost a combined 62 delegates since last weekend. And most importantly, if those bound delegates are not bound at all under the unit rule, since most states are just now getting around to those state conventions, then this primary contest really only just started. This could be a fight on the convention floor. You know, here's the microphone. Who are you going to actually vote for? Are you going to be a Henry Kissinger or are you going to be a Patriot? And we can go out and lobby all of those individual delegates between now and August. We can ambush interview them. We can write them letters. We can embarrass them publicly if they say that they're going to vote for Romney because yada, yada, yada. You know, we can go and expose that. And that's the real opportunity. So maybe that's why I'm, I'm optimistic because, you know, I mean, I have so much faith in humanity, and I really believe that appeals to conscience work, if maybe immediately over time. Is this a call to action? Is this a call to action to get gathered and to go out there and find these delegates yeah. and, and yeah. Yeah. journalism with right. them and, and just re respectfully or however you have to do it to get out there and to them and let them know that there's one chance? I mean, is that what this is? Yeah, Let's absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's get and respect. Let's do it politely. Yeah. If you, if you, let's, let's put it on a state by state basis. This would be the thing that would be perfect for RevPAC. The need leadership. This can be a decentralized move, movement without a centralized plan for achieving liberty. But yes, on a state by state basis, you can still go and lobby your delegates to RNC. The race isn't over for the grassroots. It's just that you don't get nope. to, you know, play the game of going for the, the, you know, large scale votes. You have to go for those critical votes that are actually going to be at the RNC in town. So what I would do is if you're if you're locked together YouTube videos, actually call the call people, look them up, send them letters, tell them you'd like to interview them, tell them you'd like to ask them about if they would support Ron Paul and and lobby individual delegates. If they can be convinced that they have the right to vote their conscience and that their conscience dictates they should vote for anybody other than Mitt Romney, then Ron Paul will be president of the United States in 2013. Now, if this idea has any merit whatsoever, the grassroots of this movement will pick up on it, will spread it, will put it into action, and we will see a concerted effort of the freedom movement to reach out to these key 2,300 delegates to the RNC in Tampa with whom the future of the world rests. Do you love Ron Paul? Do you love Ron Paul? Do you love Ron Paul?